Greetings all, I'm Jonathan Cruck, the Hudson Valley Storyteller, with a tale with a bit about the Bronx Zoo. It's called, I Want a Pet. Once upon a time, our girl asked, Daddy, Mommy, may we have a pet? Please, I'll take care of it, I'll feed it, I'll play with it, I'll run with it, I'll be good with the pet. Please, may we have some? Well... We may have a pet, but it has to be a perfect pet. That means nothing will be wrong with that pet. Hmm. Well, I will go to the Bronx Zoo to find the perfect pet. And off she went. You bet. I want a pet. I want a pet. I want a pet. What shall I get? Well, there she found an enormous beast with Limbs like tree trunks, a nose down to its toes, and great ah! tusks. Are you the perfect pet? Indeed, I'm the perfect pet. I can carry you on my back, and even more. Bring me home. Where do you sleep? Why, under your bed. But you're so enormous. You'll break my bed and my bedroom. I'm sorry. You're too big. You are an... Can you guess? Elephant. And off she went. I want a pet. I want a pet. I want a pet. What shall I get? She got to another large animal. <gasps> Look at you. What majestic claws and jaws and a wonderful mane of hair. Are you the perfect pet? Of course I'm the perfect pet. Why, you can do my nails and my teeth, and certainly my hair. Bring me home. I'm your perfect pet. Well, where do you sleep? Why, outside. Perfect. I pick you. Thank you. You've made me so happy to be picked. I'm going to roar. I'm sorry. But you're too loud. You're not the perfect pet. You are a lion. And so she looked again. She sang, I want a pet. I want a pet. I want a pet. What shall I get? And then there jumped into her arms. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you're wonderful. You have a long tail and huge curious eyes. <laughs> Oh, and you tickle. Oh, and you tickle too much. I'm sorry. You're not the perfect pet. You are too tickly. You are a... You guessed it. Monkey. She looked again. She sang, I want a pet. I want a pet. I want a pet. What shall I get? You look like the perfect pet. With your soft black fur, stripes down your back to your furry, furry tail. Come here, you. Let me give you a... <laughs> Let me give you a... <coughs> a hug? No, thank you. You're too stinky. You happen to be a... Yep, you guessed it. A skunk. Well, our girl had to look again. She sang, I want a pet. I want a pet. I want a pet. What shall I get? Shall I get you? Yes. I'm the perfect pet. See? I see. You are a snake. You're a little too scary for me. And off she ran. I want a pet. I want a pet. I want a pet. What shall I get? Hmm. This is hard. And ah, then, boop, boop. Something leapt and landed on her knee. Well, let's see. Are you the perfect pet? You're little and green with big legs and... I think you're a little bit too slimy. I'm sorry. You'll have to stay here in the zoo. You're not the perfect pet. You are a...
frog. Blurt. I want to pet. I want to pet. I want to pet what? Shall I get? She got sad until broop, something leaped and landed on her lap. She gave it a pet. I think you're perfect. Daddy, mommy, mommy, daddy, I found the perfect pet. Are you sure that's the perfect pet? Are you sure there's no trouble about this pet? Listen, I went to the Bronx Zoo and I found an elephant, but it was too enormous. I found a lion, but it was too loud. I found a monkey, but it was too tickly. <laughs> I found a skunk, too smelly. A snake, too, yeah, scary. I even found a frog, but it was a little slimy. This is the perfect pet. And she even says so. I found a pet. I found a pet. I found a pet. You can bet she's perfect. Do you know what her pet is? Of course you do. And that, my friends, is a story with a bit of the Bronx Zoo. I want a pet. Thanks for listening. I'm Jonathan Crook, your storyteller.